Understanding the differences between a funeral, a memorial service, and a celebration of life is a question that many people often ask. In a funeral, the remains of the deceased are present, whether in a casket or an urn. There is a wide range of formality for funerals, ranging from traditional services with viewings and processions to more casual gatherings. On the other hand, a memorial service and a celebration of life are essentially the same service, just with different names. The purpose of all three services, particularly for Christians, is to bear witness to the resurrection and focus on honoring and worshiping God rather than solely mourning the deceased. Regardless of the name or format of these services, it is crucial to recognize the importance of coming together to grieve, worship, and find solace in God's promises. Avoiding the sadness of these services may not be beneficial in the long run, as it deprives us of the opportunity to truly mourn and support one another. By embracing the mourning process and standing on God's promises, we can find comfort, witness His faithfulness, and strengthen our faith in the midst of grief. Consequently, whether it is a funeral, memorial service, or celebration of life, the focus should always be on worshiping God and proclaiming the resurrection from the dead. Funeral A funeral is a ceremony that is held to honor and remember a deceased individual. It is a formal event that typically takes place shortly after the person has passed away. The main purpose of a funeral is to provide a space for friends, family, and loved ones to come together and pay their respects to the deceased. One characteristic that sets a funeral apart from other types of memorial services is that the remains of the deceased are typically present at the ceremony. This can be in the form of a casket or an urn, depending on the individual's final wishes and the cultural or religious customs being followed. The presence of the remains allows for a physical connection to the deceased and can provide a sense of closure for those in attendance. Funerals can vary in terms of their level of formality. Some may be quite traditional, following specific rituals and customs dictated by religious or cultural traditions. These funerals often include a religious service led by a clergy member, hymns or prayers, and readings from religious readings. Other funerals may be more informal with a greater focus on personal anecdotes, memories, and tributes from friends and family members. Memorial Service A memorial service is similar to a funeral in that it serves as a way to honor and remember a deceased individual. However, a memorial service is typically held after the body has been buried or cremated. In some cases, the memorial service may take place weeks or even months after the person's passing, allowing for more time to plan the event and gather loved ones together. Unlike a funeral, the remains of the deceased individual may or may not be present at a memorial service. This can depend on factors such as personal preference, cultural or religious customs, or practical considerations. Again, in some cases, 
The ashes of the deceased may be displayed in an urn, while in others, the focus may be solely on photos, videos, and other items that help celebrate and remember the person's life. Celebration of Life a celebration of life is another type of memorial service that focuses on honoring the deceased individual's life and achievements rather than mourning their death. It is often a more upbeat and positive event, characterized by stories, laughter, and a celebration of the person's unique qualities and contributions. Similar to a memorial service, a celebration of life does not require the physical presence of the deceased individual's remains. It is a more flexible and creative approach to remember and honor the person, allowing for a wider range of options for personalization and customization. While a celebration of life is essentially a type of memorial service, it is often referred to by a different name to emphasize the positive and joyous nature of the gathering. This term reflects the intention to focus on celebrating the person's life rather than mourning their death. Regardless of whether it is a funeral, memorial service, for celebration of life, all three types of services aim to fulfill a common purpose, to bear witness to the resurrection and acknowledge the belief in life after death. For those with religious or spiritual beliefs, these ceremonies provide an opportunity to affirm their faith and find comfort in the hope that their loved one is now in a better place. While the purpose of these services is to remember and honor the deceased individual's life, the focus is ultimately on Jesus and the hope of eternal life that is offered through him. These ceremonies serve as a reminder that death is not the end and that faith in Jesus provides comfort and assurance in the face of loss and grief. Differences between funeral and memorial slash celebration of life. One of the key differences between a funeral and a memorial slash celebration of life is the presence or absence of the deceased individual's remains. In a funeral, the physical body or ashes of the deceased are typically present, allowing for a more direct connection to the person who has passed away. In a memorial service or celebration of life, the remains may or may not be present, as these types of ceremonies often focus more on celebrating the person's life and memories rather than the physical aspect of their passing. Funerals often tend to be more formal in nature, especially if they follow religious or cultural customs that dictate specific rituals and traditions. They may include certain dress codes, solemn music, and a more structured format for the ceremony. In contrast, memorial services and celebrations of life have a greater degree of flexibility and informality. They often allow for personalization and creativity, reflecting the unique personality and interests of the deceased individual. The importance of these services. One of the essential purposes of these services is to provide an opportunity for friends, family, and loved ones to come together and collectively grieve the loss of their loved one. By gathering in a shared space, individuals can express their emotions, find comfort in the support of others, 
and feel a sense of unity and connection during a difficult time. The presence of a community can be immensely comforting and reassuring as mourners navigate the grieving process. For those with religious beliefs, these services offer a chance to stand on God's promises and find solace in the assurance of eternal life and the hope of resurrection. Through prayers, hymns, and scripture readings, attendees can draw strength from their faith and lean on the support of their community as they wrestle with grief and seek healing. Having a formal service also aids in the mourning process by providing a structured and designated time for remembering and reflecting on the life of the deceased. It helps individuals process their emotions, honor the memories they share, and begin the healing journey. The act of gathering together to mourn allows individuals to confront their loss directly and take meaningful steps toward healing and acceptance. In addition to enabling the mourning process, these services align with the biblical principle of blessed are those who mourn. They acknowledge the reality of grief and loss, reminding individuals that it is acceptable and necessary to mourn and grieve the passing of a loved one. It offers a space to lament, find consolation, and seek comfort in the presence of God and the support of others who are experiencing similar feelings. Conclusion Having a service of worship that honors and remembers a deceased individual plays a vital role in the healing process for those left behind. Whether it is a traditional funeral, a memorial service, or a celebration of life, each type of ceremony offers a unique opportunity for loved ones to come together, grieve, and find solace in their shared memories and faith. By learning about the differences between these services and understanding their purpose, individuals facing loss can navigate the funeral planning process with greater clarity and hope. Ultimately, these services serve as a much-needed support system during times of grief and loss offering comfort, strength, and a sense of community during one of life's most challenging experiences.